When when is brunch? Yeah. I think it's between breakfast and lunch. When is breakfast? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Um, this week, man, we got a lot of news this week, lads. Lots of news. And even some, um, like, Clap. nudes? Yeah. Last minute. Clappy nudes? Steam news, yes. <laughs> Cla- it, 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 it's Clappy nude like the new version of, like, Tappy Bird? <sighs> <laughs> I'm Vin Stone. <laughs> that, that is uh, the god of hammers himself, one Jordan Swing, and uh, I am Bor. Bor. <laughs> Pedro Matias <laughs> and Three Eyed Britannia. It is brilliant. Together with you at home in Chatroom Dynamic, help me form a little thing, a little wholesome, lovable thing we like to call Cocaine Voltron. Now, before we get started, we like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Gentlemen, um, I will celebrate my small victory. Um, Shabbat. Shabbat is over. <laughs> Apparently. Hur- <laughs> Hooray! Did, did, did you go to your minion yet? Did you get them infected? I, I, I don't even know, man. What's going on there? I, I just, I, hey, B&H, very observant with the holiday stuff. Right on. More power to you. One thing this week, I'm going to say the hardest thing for me this week, this is what's going on, is not buying the Metro game on Steam on sale for 20 bucks. Well, yeah, now now we're hitting that time of the year where like all those exclusivity deals for the Epic Store yeah. are, are expiring. Mm-hmm. And so they're they're starting to trickle their way over the Steam. And, you know, we, we were we were mad at the time, but I think like at least now we sort of have like the hindsight of like, these are the good games. These are the bad games. Here's what sucked on launch. Here's what got fixed later. Right. So right. There, there's, a, yep. there's at least a bit of that feral syndrome happening where like, yeah, we, we get all, we get all the DLC. We get all the fixes now that that's nice. Mm-hmm. It's, Oh, uh, all the Epic exclusivity means apparently is, uh, you get to, um, beta test before the game actually comes out. Get the bugs Steam. worked out. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to play the um, Metro X. Then Deep Silver, being such a tease, a couple of months back, they're like, uh, hey, any news on the uh, Linux thing? You're like, spoilers. God damn it. The, the, the spoiler is much not looking happening. forward to that. Yeah. See, the, the, that, the, that's the whole the thing. The spoiler is Proton. Yeah, if that is the spoiler, I'm like, you're going to get my money one way or the other. You just already have it right now, like guilt free. If I, which, whatever, Pedro, what's new with you, baby? Um, I managed to find toilet paper this week. That 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 was. Uh... <laughs> were, were times getting desperate? Not really. I mean, I had gotten to the point where I was uh, okay with the baby wipes. It didn't feel weird anymore. It's like, okay, this is just going to be my life from That's now on. That's because you were rubbing them on your nipples, man. It was strangely erotic. Now you can't go back to and non-chafing. That, that was it's the important so it, bit. It didn't it's, chafe. It, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all scratchy and rough now. I can't Ooh. do it anymore. <laughs> my, 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 my sensitive little bottom is is is, is on fire because of the super coarse toilet paper. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, apparently, I was visual. Uh, I was visibly stunned when I was walking past the aisle because I stopped and I was looking at the aisle, and uh, one of the Tesco people went by me and went like, "I know, right?" <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> A sensitive little bottom. Oh no! Oh, dude, uh, Jordan, have you been up to anything new? I mean, I, I set up that video bridge. Still fucking around with it. Right. Um, it, it 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 held up for the entirety of the pre pre super shows and but there's there's a config op- option identified and then we gotta fuck around with the figure out how to fuck around with the audio video settings because you want like higher quality so yeah that, 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 that that's that's gonna require a little bit of investigation on my part but think about it man we'll finally be able to get the horse in HD. Dude, okay, the, the, yes. I, feel, I, I genuinely feel the horse is like pornography. Like, the higher resolutions don't really do it any favors because you see all the cesarean scars <laughs> and, 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 and like the plastic surgery. It's the Steam Update of the Week. Don't, don't worry, horse. You have a beautiful personality. That's right. Um, Managing Steam bandwidth. So, you know, if you are impacted by the 
uh, whatever the game grumps calling it, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour that's out now. <laughs> um, <laughs> That we can't talk about on YouTube. Uh, you might be cooped up inside because of Backstreet being back. All right. Uh, so you may you may have a shared internet connection that may be impacted by everyone downloading games and watching Netflix oh, and other and other stuff at the same time. So Steam has implemented some finer grain bandwidth controls. Um, you can control the uh, auto update window. You can throttle your own connection to Steam now. Um, you can. Um, you can tier games so that like stuff that you don't really care about will only get updated when the network is clear and stuff you're regularly playing gets updated uh, more frequently. Uh, Ven, you're saying um, you're saying that uh, get only games within played within the last three days will get updated immediately. That that's what they're threatening with, man. They're like, yo, um, you get to play it recently. We're not going to waste a bandwidth on you, which I'm you know, if this keeps up, because I don't know about you two is something that I've always had to deal with in memory is waiting for steam to ratchet up the uh, bandwidth when I'm downloading a game. If it's a large game, I know for the first five, possibly 10, maybe even 15 minutes, I'm not even going to get nowhere near my tab. It's going to be like 30, 33 megabits. And I know go, go cry right then. Oh, <laughs> only. but um, I'm going to say definitely for the last week, it's boom. I've been hitting, you know, at least like 55, which, that makes a big difference over, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> having to wait more than 10 minutes for a game. Yeah. Ah. With, 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 with 1.5 down, it's just like, I'm still, in my brain, I'm still used to a slow internet speed. So, like, okay, I'm going to download this game. I'm going to get up and go do something. Should come back, check in on it. Oh, it's been done for, like, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> been done, <man. laughs> Yeah, no, I'm very much a part of the problem because they're doing this to avoid the um, internet getting congested with game downloads, unnecessary game downloads, because you haven't played that game that you have installed for months. So you don't need that update right now. And if you launch the game, it still downloads it. But I'm one of those people that's like, oh yeah, that update has been queued for a month from now. Uh, I'm just going to hit update now. There. See, I, I I have I have a problem for the for the chair position uh, this week. I'm like, man, I gotta clear out some space. I just keep all the games installed locally. So. I don't even bother with it. I, even with my little half gig connection, I'm just like, I was just, I, I I grew up in a different time, man. It's like <laughs> the, the the idea of being able to download, you know, Shadow or Hold or you know, hundred gigs of that, and like, can't do that in thirty minutes. Boggles, boggles my old decrepit brain meat. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'll just download that again when I'm done with it. Because how big is your Steam drive? Mine's 250 gig SSD, and that's all. One terabyte. I have a dedicated one terabyte SSD. Uh, hold on a second. It's T. All right, I got. I have five drives. Uh, I got two 500 gigs. I got one 256. Apparently, or I got two. Uh, two he has no gigs. ideas what he's trying to communicate to us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, yes. I, I have a lot. I have a lot, and it's all full because I don't delete games because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so we got a new version of the Steam client beta, and maybe yeah. I think maybe just maybe possibly. I know something that Jordan and I've run into is when we want to launch Steam after a double uh, after an update, um, the beta client you got to double tap, sometimes triple tap, and tippy tap for it'll open. Oh, so they fi they fixed that now. That's what that is. Maybe question. Possibly. Maybe, yeah. So uh, the update was released on April second, and the Linux thing is fix Debus assertion and possible crash at startup. Honestly, I hadn't experienced a crash, but apparently both uh, Vet and Jordan had. Uh, the one thing that I also noticed is the big picture mode fixes, which is fix several localization issues. I had noticed a localization issue, which I reported to um, Valve, which was the uh, on-screen keyboard that you control with the Steam How controller. How dare you, uh, Valve is infallible. If you have uh, Steam set to Portuguese, the Portuguese layout keyboard doesn't have a goddamn underscore. Mm. Seems like a pretty significant oversight. Underscore oversight? I, I, never mind. I, I mean, who really <laughs> needs an underscore, man? Come on, let's be honest. They they, they, did, they did include a fix for people who don't practice social isolating good. Uh, if you got four <laughs> more Xbox controllers plugged into your Steam box, now, it will, now they'll all work, which is nice. You know, unfortunately, the latest news is they've rolled that back. 
Really? They did. Yep. I know. The, yeah, the, the latest update rolled that back because apparently people weren't able to connect uh, Xbox controllers to I Steam just, anymore. I, I, the the, the mm. scenario that rolled out my mind was like, sometimes like, oh, great. Hey, the couple, I invite your friends. They're like, hey, we're not all um, full of the COVID. So come over, man. All Everybody bring their control. We'll, we'll do, do it. And they're like, oh, sh you know? I, I, I mean, sometimes you really want to play screen sheet, right? Right. Hmm. So, we got some interesting news on the topic of toasters. Yes. So, um, there's a brand new collaboration happening between Valve, Microsoft, and Hewlett Packard. Uh, they're mm -hmm. working on a next gen Ooh. VR headset. Um, it seems to be based on the HP Reverb. Um, it's supposed to. It's supposed to be cheaper. Apparently, they're they're not quite aiming to beat Oculus in terms of price, but they're they're saying like, well, we're we're going to be a hundred bucks more than Oculus, but we're going to give you a couple more features that they have. It's going to be oh, uh, it's set, the Windows set. mixed reality thing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Well, so here here's the thing. A lot of a lot of us here, our instinctual reactions are like, ew, Microsoft. But here's the thing. When was the last time you bought a Microsoft keyboard and mouse? Plugged it into your Linux computer and it didn't work. Microsoft's been okay with the with the peripheral support at least. Um, and Man, if nobody Valve is in involved, their right mind would buy a fucking Microsoft keyboard, all right? It, no, that'd be no, silly. That'd be ridiculous. I couldn't imagine no, doing it. No, not at all. No. Uh, but yeah. Um, so re regardless, Steam VR is going to be covering the actual Linux support. So it'll it, the headsets will work with Linux. That's not going to be that's not going to be a question. And I think I don't think Microsoft gaming division at least is going to be like oh you can't use this on a linux machine we don't want those two linux users with vr headsets buying another linux VR headset. <laughs> we've heard rumors of them dude here's what i'm going to say you're, you're it's gonna... only legend Shh. Oh, uh, arise pig one arise uh one of the things i'm thinking about man with vr i know i've said this ad nauseum is it's going to be wireless it's going to be light and it's got to do room scaling without lighthouses and the other nonsense. And it's also going to be like, okay, here's a, here's a legitimate question. Does it got to give you a hand job too? No, no, no one's going to take your job, baby. You're <laughs> safe. <laughs> Good. All right. Um, I'll get the sandpaper. Where's your fine? I'll buy it. I'm thinking, because like right now the Index of Ivan Alex, I'm like, you know what? There's Twitch. I'll play it uh, through the perspective of the guy that's talking to Alex on the walkie-talkie, <laughs> because it's really, you know, it's kind of like how you're mm -hmm. doing it. Um, then we had drop a grand. And I think we're probably looking at, like, for me, console price, like 400, and that's pushing it. Like, three, three fifty. you give me true fifty, then I'd be like, eh, all right. Well, so, so like... And I'm, I'm, I'm cheap. I'm, I'm, I'm cheap. Yeah. Frugal. I, 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 I've, I've dicked around with VR a little bit. Uh, I've dicked around with VR under Linux uh, a little bit too. And here's the thing. I really want to play Gorn. Gorn is a really fun game. I enjoy it. There would be that and Alex. But if I'm going to, if I, if I am going to be spending like four or $500 on a VR solution, I would like to, there to be like some more higher fidelity stuff. Mm hmm um available More stuff that's... too that you'd want to play because like you you would have gordon then possibly alex and alex is not good at three su uh, super hot maybe beat saber uh, or something like that yeah, appa yeah. Appa apparently tetris vr will fuck you up in vr mode <laughs> see I, w I only want to play beat saber if i can get somebody to come over and like throw rocks at me <laughs> just, just, yeah, yeah oh 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 it's dude dude that that's a brilliant marketing thing if you want to make a star wars vr game you make a vr helmet that looks like the fucking helmet that luke skywalker put on his head through right he's like yeah th yeah mm -hmm. dude come on that 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 would get some star wars nerds on board with the with the vr train 100%. all right all right i could see it or or, or like make Honestly. it look like the, the x-wing helmet mm. hey. yeah for me and vr it, I need to be able to use it, and I'm not going to spend a stupid amount of money on something that won't let me play with it because I'm sure, I'm sure none there's of the be VR a hook attachment. None of the can... VR solutions up to this point, except maybe like that 3D printed sleeve thing that Valve had for the index uh, knuckle. Yeah, no. When it comes to my right hand, fuck that. <laughs> hook, hook, hook. hook. Huck, um, huck. Dude, so maybe we'll get to play this in VR. This comes from our best, best buddy, Gary Newman, to his credit, uh -huh. who did send us copies. What was it, Rust? 
Rust. Yes. He, he sent us copies of Rust way back in the day. He posts this on his Twitter, and it's this clapped out meme. Uh, it's him, everything as the girlfriend, and the other lady walking in the opposite direction is making Gmod 2, to which I will say, oh, yeah, and let's see, what, what do we have? Tuxed, don't forget to yell at others because of your incompetence. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I was going to say, like, we're, 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 we're getting, we're, getting, yeah, we're, we're totally. Uh, got, be sure to use JavaScript as a scripting language this time, just to piss off more people. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like how most of the replies are people giving Gary shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, listen, my, my, if my, you hold my, on to that edge lord, Gary's rolling into coming up to his 40s and he's still got the sharp edge lordiness to him, to him. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what? At this point, I still kind of respect it because I'm like, like, all right, that's it. No, he's we're, made we're, it, we're, his internet persona to be a shit lord. Yeah. Everyone but we're we're, we're 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 totally getting that Linux version though, right? Mm -hmm. Right, guys. Well, right? We are, right? We'll just, we'll, we'll just right? run it in Proton. Right. right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that doesn't have start much blaming. of a say anymore. I mean, let's be he's honest. He's start blaming face... Proton for all his problems too. Face man. punch. That's... Face punch has definitely proven on multiple occasions that Linux is a little outside of their wheelhouse and scope and ability. It's true. Yeah. E even when yeah. they're using Unity, you know that that engine where you can <laughs> easily export things to Linux. We could keep ah. going down that rabbit hole, but we're not because we have to talk about the latest and greatest version of Proton GE that Pedro's in love with so much that we put it in the show notes at the last minute. Actually, it was a, it's love very with. significant. Literally because... in love with. And it's Pedro, not just you, you got to adjust your usual. glasses when. Keep going, Pedro. There. Um, <laughs> it's the usual it's not the usual release of Proton GE this one comes with a big fat disclaimer right at the top okay. I'd like to preface that this is a pre-release that has massive amount of media foundation slash MF plant wine patches a huge thanks goes to Derek Lesho uh, for getting this stuff working and taking the time to helping Gloria Segrol get it working with the correct dependencies in Proton. And the, the fixes that they themselves tested were Borderlands 3, uh, the Lilith in-head videos, and the Watch Me Monitor video bugs are fixed. Remnant from the Ashes intro videos, intro menu, and the character menu are fixed. The uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, you know, you remember one of those games that had a Linux version promised on their Kickstarter Never and heard then of it. didn't deliver. Sorry, hang on, hang yeah. on, I had to pause for again. What was it? Yeah, right. dicks that they are, but that's been fixed in Proton G as well. And MP4 playback issues related to Crazy Machines 3. There is a couple of stuff that's still broken. There's other videos in Borderlands 3 and Spyro the Dragon and... Other not MP4 Spyro. playing stuff. Yeah. yeah. As it turns out, it's not fully there yet, but hey, having after, that after work out like of the box. The, um, code work that they did, especially in the PlayStation for Spyro, I got just nothing but respect for that team of just yeah. diabolical. <laughs> like that, that's how you do copyright protection right there. <laughs> it is brilliant. Um, I, I I I do like what you said in 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 the pre-show when when we added this in. Like, what what what's the over under on like in two days we're gonna see another post? Like, yeah, we're rolling whoops. that back. That did not work. <laughs> did not work. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, but it's not very often we <laughs> yeah. see that. Oh, something that we do need to mention is there is a there is a now is a um beta program for Proton. So if you go into Steam and you set it up to go by tools. Where mm -hmm. you can select the Proton version of 5.9, right click on that, go to properties, and in the uh, beta tab, you can get into the development. It's called like Proton Next. Protonixed. 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 <laughs> it's great. I don't know what it does, but I've, I've like done it three times, man. Don't tell anyone. Mm. Oh, <laughs> what, what, what about Artifact Next or Artif Next? Oh, Steve. Well, um, oh, Art of Next is uh, an interesting uh, concept. So, Valve um, have decided that they're going to try and salvage whatever is left of Artifact because, well, that game flopped massively. And 
one of the things that they're going the according to the roadmap is right now they're testing boring stuff and then they're going to start trickling out invites how for dare people. you accuse them of testing boring stuff where do you come up a monster just Quit hating, that's man. what they said <laughs> i'm literally just reading off the thing and then they're going to start sending out beta invites to specific people and they're going to be testing while they do that and inviting more people and then finally get the open beta and maybe have something out at some point valve time uh yeah. but the yeah, biggest they're, they're... issue that I ran into with Artifact was um, the game, like, just the one game that I did outside of the tutorial, it took me like 45 minutes to finish that game. That That's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, the well the the other the other big change they're implementing is uh, cards are free now. That's step 0 in, you know, competing with Hearthstone. Um now they're going to they're going to be rolling they're also going to be uh, rolling it out like the Portal 2 beta beta back in the day. If you remember, there was the Portal 2 beta and then there was the beta 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 swing. Beta 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 beta. Um but yeah, um not charging for cards. I think they're just going to be charging for the base games. Probably a good move cuz the game itself is like what 20 bucks. Um, you can you can get cards from drafts now. Uh, you can um, they'll they'll be handing them out as like performance rewards, which I guess is like what you need to do. Mm -hmm. I, the, 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 on, honestly, I, th I think they were a little too bold. They got they, they were really trying to position this as like, yeah, this is going to be the new Magic the Gathering. So much so uh. that we got the Magic the Gathering guy to mm -hmm. make this fucking game. This, this um, is like one of the one hundred percent things. I don't think at this point this this is. Uh sunk cost i don't think you could pay people to play this game you can't make it a thing or did didn't google plus teach anyone anything <laughs> what That's the well, i mean I, uh, google plus taught us that you can make an excellent product but if you fuck up the rollout yeah no one's gonna use it pretty much yeah it's got and, a stink I, on it man that that's that, like you just couldn't do it like he like think about it, like if canonical came out with the even if it was the greatest thing in the world, like, no, we really have a replacement for X and Waylon, and everything works out, everyone would be like, nah. Oh, well, yeah, remember the last time <laughs> yeah, you said that? You held exactly. back Waylon development by, like, I'm five saying, years? Uh, nah, mm -hmm. uh, all right. But, but yeah, and one of the things that they're doing is they're going to be panning out the camera so you can see all three lanes of what's happening at once to avoid people getting shut out because... Hey, guess what? If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And a lot of people were forgetting what was happening in the other lanes. And that's also part of the reason why the games take 45 minutes for a fucking game to finish. Um, yeah, no, it, it, the concept itself is broken, Valve. I don't, I don't necessarily think it's broken. I think it's just a little longer. The time investment is longer than you, most people are willing to invest. The, well, that, that's kind of the whole thing. Um, one of like the uh, uh, of, um, auto chess was the yeah. auto chess was the was the big thing. Like those were quick games, and that blew up. Yep, it blew up. Then it's you getting into a market like that. One of the creators of Cyanide and Happiness told me, "Give me some very good advice a long time ago." And I said, "How do you break into?" And I was just asking about web comics. Very legitimate. Uh, be the first. It's like oh, and it's like yeah. So I, I, it's a card game in 2020. I, I just don't know where I'm at with like still putting effort behind that. I understand like wanting to make it a thing. I just don't see it ever, unless it's just completely free to fuck around and play. Like, unless you do. Go, That's the like, thing. Hearthstone was pretty big because it was uh, free. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, most people could keep up even without paying Blizzard money. Free. No, app, then, and it was huge. It still is huge, despite not even being on Steam. Well, and yeah. so the, the, the other thing too is like MTG Arena is successful because A, Magic is probably one of the best designed <laughs> card games out there. And it mm -hmm. has the name recognition. It's established, and the yeah. <laughs> and it it took it took Watsi a good long time of fucking up before they came up with a good digital implementation of their card system mm. that people are they willing tried. to spend money on. <laughs> they, they, they they tried with MTGO, no one used it. They tried like Duel of the Planeswalker, that game was fucking yeah. terrible. And then they're like, why don't we just make the card game and just automate all the fiddly bits? Oh, and put some that's special what, effects and some particle yep. effects. That, there, that, done. That's what that's what the people <laughs> wanted. So make it fun, <laughs> which is something they're trying to do with the new volcanic update. From they're gonna fail a really, really. Uh, I think it's everybody's fantastic, except for Jordan. Jordan just can't handle balls. Uh, 
Golf I'm with not your, a fan golf of Golf with your friends, man. This is a volcanic update. Don't give them credit, man. Don't give them credit. First of all, this is a two gig update. So I kind of expected something. <laughs> you know, some, something. That's the size of a game. Yeah. <laughs> is that a Fargate? Oh, yeah, baby. That's 100%. Uh, this, it's magma. So you're going to burn. But one thing I'm definitely going to say after that two gig is like, are you going to surprise me? Well, they did. There's some new mechanics in this, and they've been doing that recently with, you know, the space level and that other level that was easily forgotten. But it was, oh, the worms, even though it runs like poop. The worms level, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> of all the particle effects and explosions. They are throwing legitimate map design in these updates versus the old strategy of like, here's a putt-putt course, and here's some fucky shit in the way, which I still yep. found enjoyable because it was <laughs> between that and the broken game mechanics itself. It it was just fun, but this is getting really polished, man. They've tightened up the uh, menu selection, multiplayer. So yeah, yeah, that's they, they, reliable now. <laughs> they, they, there, there's actually quite a few Linux fixes in the bug fixes. Apparently, there was a title crash in uh, the Twilight level. There's a sign issue where hole one would be visible at the start of every hole. Ooh. Um, yeah, like they're they're actually fixing stuff on the Linux side, which you know, for a Unity joint, good on you, right? <laughs> they are also go back, um, beautiful people, rework that worms level because that thing takes my little twenty sixty down to like forty five at ten eighty p. That's rough. That's rough. But it's not good. <laughs> it's gonna blow. All right, coming up next, we got another Nvidia Vulcan driver, uh -oh. and we got. A bundle of stuff to keep you indoors forever. Oh. Once upon a time, the new segment used to start with drivers here and there, but now, now we need to do some shilling before we get to that. Right, Jordan? Nope. No, not not at all. Okay, then Never go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I, I will if you if you if you want to fund my loop purchases you can head on over to linuxgamecast.com put your mouse over the support button we got paypal we got leave did you say mouse Bitcoin. or mouth yes okay just checking put your mouth against the monitor and tongue that support mouth button in the hole Ooh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah um wow that's gonna that's gonna get us flagged um for yeah, science um, why do you hate science, science youtube <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't make them enough money you gotta get gotta show that anti-science right anywho um you should check out our patreon patreon.com slash linux gamecast it gives you a bunch of cool stuff by being a patreon like access to the show notes where you can suggest show stories you can fact check us you can ask questions you can do all sorts of stuff because you can just comment on the google doc that we all collaborate with um you also get access to our uh, discord channel that's pretty cool because you get to hang out with us the other six days of the week you can also show up a little bit early for the pre-pre super shows on saturdays if you want to listen to us talk about bullshit really it's it's just 100 percent bullshit there's like nothing a real value in there but if you need if you need that extra lgc content what you, did, what, what you basically just said is like do you, do you find linux team cast weekly a little too scripted yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want Pr to go through like five minute stretches of silence? Let's be honest. <laughs> our, our agreement with you for like even releasing that is, is a gentleman's agree. Oh shit, Basil! Why? Thanks, Basil, oh, for the so thousand cares. bits. You're so, you're so sexy, Basil. It's just ah. a friendly agreement of like we'll record that and we'll give you a feed of it. Just nobody work on anyone, okay? Yeah, we can still yep. be friends. <laughs> uh, we we got a store store dot linuxgamecast dot com. You should check that out. Buy yourself a t shirt. Buy some stickers. Buy some mouse pads. Yep. Buy some coffee cups. Buy. We don't we don't have the booty shorts? So sad. This still this is not my fault. Teespring, give me some booty shorts, and we'll let Ooh, Jordan wear them. We we gotta got we gotta move over to booty spring. Am I right? Booty spring up. Don't don't. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> go there at your own risk. Fair <laughs> point. We don't don't say we didn't warn you. Uh, we also we also got uh, Amazon wish lists. Um, putting all this stuff together is not cheap. It requires quite a bit of hardware. And if you want to help us out, you can get your name on the shiny wall behind Ven. Oh, as I was showing everybody six inches. Yeah, it's true. Look at look at look at that! Look at all that glare. But you can't read. Um, <laughs> we, we we also got the Amazon LGC you get bonus store. Bonus points if you can read all the names. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, I'll give you yeah. a hint. That's our Theron between Basil and Linux Neuro. <laughs> oh, look at that. Helping people <laughs> cheat. You monster. 
Yeah, we did. Cheater, Carl, cheater, Mike, pumpkin Basil, <laughs> Linux Nero. You guys have helped put this thing together. You're you're our fucking game sharks, man, helping us cheat our way through this and get it done Mo- so much quicker. Mo- most, mostly Mike G. Mike G has spent a lot of money on <laughs> studios. Yes. I am sitting on a Mike G chair right here. <laughs> I wish I was sitting on a Mike G chair. I've been sitting on this kitchen chair for like a year now. My butt is so sore. You know what? You guys. Admits, I, I just assumed you had butt calluses at this. Also, it's your own damn fault. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Butt calluses. That's that's show title. Jordan's right. butt is so hard right now. It's anywho. You can uh, strike so 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 is the rest of me. Hey 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 hey. <laughs> all right all right. We 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 got some, we got some news we got to get to. I don't know, man. Now I'm thinking about. All right, yeah, fine. Do, do we do we just fine. want to talk about my Shut butt? Up. I'm I'm Go fine away. with talking about my bad butt. Bad touch. Bad touch. We got to talk about Vulcan <laughs> sweat, driver baby support. sweat. We got some new stuff in the latest. Uh, you know, we were talking about spec updates and all that other fun stuff. But uh, when was the April 2nd release? We mm-hmm. got an interesting little fix, man, didn't we? Well, I think it was April 1st, the first one rolled out. We got a fix for the Linux Steam Play Doom Eternal, which I'm sure made Strader very happy because he's like, I can play on my NVIDIA now instead of his uh, whatever. Uh, not NVIDIA card. That other one, AMD. Ugh, I'm an uh, NVIDIA. So. All right. <laughs> That's a big thing, man. Um, mainly for me because... Nvidia hates Linux, right, guys? I, I I mean they have a they have a complicated relationship with Linux. Let's put, let's put it that way. It's 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 yeah. not it's not <laughs> like they say they hate each other, but like every other weekend they're hooking up. So like oh, it's one of those. Yeah. So like, do they really hate each other? I I don't think so. I think there's that's a lot for show. Um, but yeah, they've they've been cranking out these Vulcan drivers pretty regularly now. It's like once every week or every two weeks or so. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder, I wonder why that is, uh, I guess like the new, the new spec version came out. They're trying to get all these extensions in the hands of developers, et cetera, et cetera. Well, Vulcan's <laughs> definitely rolling out. I mean, in, 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 at a clip too, and new things are, you know, mm-hmm. 1.2 rolled out and they got to play around with that and they're working with that, but they're getting things like Proton. You're like, why are they working on that? Because it helps them find bugs they otherwise probably wouldn't have ever run across. Ab- absolutely Pretty much. Uh, and it's well, a very significant use case for, you know, us common folk Linux users who use Proton to play their entire backlog yeah, library I, I, of games. I, 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 I mentioned it because we haven't seen like a regular driver or beta driver released in a while. It seems that they're focusing all their driver efforts on the Vulcan driver, mm-hmm. which not not necessarily a bad thing. It's just different, no. right? It's a thing, man. Which you know, it's just Vulcan, a different branch you got to track. Vulcan's going to be the business. It is the business, and you know, Vulcan's going to be something that people are still going to be dealing with ten years from now, like willingly, as opposed to oh, we got to do all this DX stuff. Well, maybe they'll be well. There already is a wrapper. Ah, that's a joke. Okay. Um, C nineteen is not a universe from Rick and Morty. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, it might be, but oh, we haven't yeah. met. Fair point, uh, fair point. Rick or Morty C19 as far as we know but if uh, you are stuck at home because of all the uh, current ongoing health concerns well Humble is uh, for the next two days at the time of recording they will be uh, hosting the uh, £25.50 bundle uh, for um, a bunch of games. Honestly, there's a bunch of games. There's there's, there's even a couple Linux Killing ones. Floor, Super and... Hot, Dark Siders Two. Um, you know, this is the police. What do we have? Let's go ahead and take a look. We got the jackpot jackpot party B- back. B- yeah, bunch yes. of double fine party games. Hard, if you don't already own them. Um, what else? There's Hollow Knight. Broken there's Age. Undertale. There's Into the Breach. There's uh, the one game Pedro and I were like, yeah, I don't know if I want to pay thirty bucks for Wizard yeah, of Legend. Yeah, I want um, Wizard of Legend, but I don't. 25 pounds 50 want wizard of legends <laughs> yeah i could buy it for cheaper on steam that's the thing so so they, they, all, they also have some uh they also have some books and comics they got like some health help self-help books mm-hmm. which i probably don't recommend they have a starfinder like world book which is kind of silly because they don't include the base game with it so like it's kind of useless but they do have some decent comics um they got the army of darkness mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. They got the first volume of The Boys. Uh, if you have not read Saga, I highly recommend that. That is just a really good comic. You can get the first volume here. Spawn Origins, Undiscovered Country, uh, Criminal Coward, so some and uh, Lumberjanes. So some like actually decent comics too. If you want to like sit down and read something, hmm. yeah. 
I'm done with it. And the games themselves, most of them are really good. And if you don't have them, if you don't have Hollow Knight and Into the Breach and uh-huh. Undertale. This, this is um, an absolute deal, especially if you've been holding off. And if you've been looking for something to do, 30 bucks, man. I mean, this all goes to charity, you know? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, 100% with that. But, but we got a new version of Lupus. It's true. If you if you have so if you got some games in the humble bundle that uh, don't run on Proton too well, you might want to try using this uh, version zero point five point five is out. Feeling five, uh, they got some uh, some big changes this time around. Uh, humble bundle support for uh, your non GOG DRM free games. Um, they have resolution uh, support for Mutter in Wayland. Uh, ACO is turned on by default. Dixvix is enabled by default because you know D nine VK has been all squooshed together into uh, Dix. Fix. Um, there's a bunch of changes involving that. There's an authentication. Matthew, for God. Matthew, we're gonna have to talk, buddy. Um, you're probably listening right now. If not, I'll hit you in Discord. Screenshot, son. Screen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, he, you know, he he did add the Yuzu Runner for your legitimately ROM dumped Switch games that mm-hmm. you totally bought. Um, and uh, the, absolutely. Yeah, Where do you lo- stand on that, man? It's like if I can't legally buy the game, f you. I'm, you know, I'm not asking if I'm going to play it. Mm-hmm. And, and oh I'm no, talking uh, about that like is one of for like the companies that are gone, abandonware stuff like that. You know, abandonware well, yeah. is a bit more complicated. But if you are uh, completely unable to legally purchase a bit of content that you want to consume and you want to pay for it, but you literally don't have the option, HBO, um. Then yeah, what did I think? Mean, wait, hang on, no, no, couldn't have like, can you just like holiday in Portugal over the weekend? Just download everything, stay at a good motel. <laughs> Ch- challenge, challenge mode, going to Portugal. <laughs> well, I, I, and, I, and, I, and I mean, so like, here's the thing though: a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the games on the Switch store are also on Steam. You can actually buy a copy of it. Uh, but if you're looking for like first party titles, like your Mario's or your Zelda's, or your Pokemans. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get stuck paying. I, I paid two hundred dollars for Pokemans last week. One 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 for me, one for someone else, so I can add someone to trade you. Because I'm not <laughs> hundred bucks a game, man. Eighty eight. It's it's eighty nine ninety nine Canadian for a first party title. Wet tax. It's a hundred bucks. You're not oh, allowed man, to complain about prices price. for like three weeks. I am allowed to complain nope. about prices for three weeks because nope. I had to pay the I had to pay the gold price, man. That. Uh... Uh, I'll complain about the price for, once for, I eventually buy Bloodborne for the PS4. For, for, first party Dave console games. <laughs> this, this, this is why I mostly game on PC. This is why it's I because... haven't bought a console since the 32X. And I don't even know if that counts. It was an add-on. Yeah. Either either way, uh, you should check it out. Lots of improvements for Lutris. They're doing... Strider's Strider's doing good work. Um... Yeah, making sure that games run on Linux, Keep even if going. they are Epic Store exclusives. So this yeah. next one, I do believe, um, I think Pedro and I were interested in like halfway down the page. You're like, it just keeps going. It does. Um, but so uh, the in Mesa, Intel has enabled the near, not the near automata, the NIR extension. <laughs> oh, they flipped the um, near bit. Yes, that one. The, the, yeah, the near. Yeah. <laughs> It 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 it, it, ma- it makes your computer give birth to like a naked man who tries to fight you and then you have to kill him Been as there. he keeps leveling up, right? Um, no, but uh, this is this is enabling some of the uh, functionality that was introduced in ACO into the NVIDIA driver, or not the NVIDIA driver, God damn it, the Intel driver, the Intel driver, <laughs> Intel driver, Intel and NVIDIA are different, Jordan. <laughs> um yeah but um this this is offering about like a 10% performance improvement on uh people on Iris Pro they're saying and you know what this is great news for people who are stuck with cheap laptops which is an Intel IGP like Yep. One, 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 of, one of the big selling points we often say with Linux is that it runs better on lower end hardware. And part of that requires you to have optimized drivers that can actually run games at reasonable ish frame rates. Mm-hmm. Like again, yep. again, like if you're on, on an Intel IGP, like you're hitting 30, that's, that's a good day. That's a good day for like a 3d game. Dude. But yeah, well, here's where I'm at. Well then is when you're talking 10%, you're going from, especially if you're an Intel laptop, you're like, ah, I can kind of run games. But if you're talking the difference between like 45 and 55, or, you know, just getting over to 30, maybe you're at 24 and maybe you can get over mm-hmm. 30 and you can live with 30 as, you know, just smooth enough. I mean, that's a game changer, stuff like this. It, 
It yeah. is. Or, you know, and you know, you know what? Maybe maybe this is also for that uh, dedicated Intel GPU that's going to blow our socks off, right, guys? Oh, ben, you, you mean the uh, the laptop chip that they put on its own dedicated? I told you, man. We'll read your fanfic after the show's over. Okay, <laughs> it's a steamy one. <laughs> Let's talk about some Vulcan rays, man. Uh, Josh, Joshua is onto something, man. Uh, something is migrating VK, KHR ray tracing. So, what is this? Well, Josh has done one and ported the Quake 2 RTX to the new VK KHR ray tracing cross vendor extension, which is something what did we talk about like two weeks ago? It, NVIDIA yeah, rolled yeah. out and they're like, yo, man. Now everyone can use it. You get a ray, and you get a ray, and you get a ray. And that's kind of brilliant. So I looked at this, I thought about it, and I was like, okay, fine. It's been a minute since I built Quake 2 with ray tracing from Source because this was not my first Rodeo. And lo and behold, I'm just, I, I didn't expect anything like a bump. And then still got like 40, 45, yeah, 1080p. I mean, <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, really all this is doing is just making sure that any other sort of ray tracing implementation yeah. done in the hardware will work with Quake 2 RTX, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I guess if now that Dix Fix is when pretty that stable. Ever happens. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, the next gen of AMD cards, probably Intel's going to have some low end version of that. I don't know. But with Dix Vic stabilizing, Josh needed something to do, I guess. So <laughs> you could have worse hobbies, right? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 could, you could be flying an X plane. <laughs> You absolutely could, and uh, maybe you could be doing it with Vulcan, not with ray tracing yet, but uh, X-Plane 1150 has um, Vulcan support, and uh, they say that modern rendering via Vulcan and metal, oh Look at God. a page that does fuck all when I'm clicking on this. <laughs> By links. checking an option in the graphics settings screen and then restarting X-Plane. So... Yeah, the Vulcan and Metal, go figure, uh, are now available in the new version of x -Plane. You just have to go to the options menu and uh, throw a bit of a tick. There's a couple of interesting known bugs. Namely, uh, VR right eye not working with Vulcan. Oh, man. What about VR left eye? <laughs> Like Apparently Lisa, Lisa, the left eye works just fine. It's the right what, one that goes. What, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What if you're Lisa Left Eye Lopez and you go chasing waterfalls? Too soon, man. Don't. Too soon. Just don't. <laughs> Gotta listen to TLC, man. This is kind of interesting. I'm a little let down there. Uh, just for myself, because like I want to try this, but I don't need to get sucked into it. It is interesting trying to pilot something with a keyboard. I, um, getting it off the run with. That, that's not too bad. Trying to put it down using... Mouse the... yaw. <laughs> uh, yeah, could you add support for like my Behringer X-Touch compat so I use the motorized fader? I'd probably better luck with it. Um, make it fight me. I want like force feedback. No, oh no, dude, that, that's what we need. Like Steam input support for mixers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let, let's do it, baby. Um, that's a cool thing, you know. Uh, kudos on them for like doing the metal thing because that was just out of kindness man for our brothers and sisters on the mac mm. seriously quit it, quit trying to game on mac stop <laughs> yeah just you're, 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 apple you're, has made it clear <laughs> they don't want you as a customer now buy another you're, you're, iphone your poor little macbook will overheat you oh no it's... <laughs> you open two tabs in safari your macbook goes throttling now and no then... no no you, you you open up vi <laughs> in the terminal and you go <laughs> You know what? Somewhere right now, a Mac user is walking over to your Chromebook and patting it on the head and going, shut up, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what is it? Uh, Adam is a um, game written in love. It's a shmup. Um, you can, m m <laughs> w w once again, Arch users got to use Pac-Man in order to get love. Uh, but yeah, you check out the Git, you run love dot in the directory, and it launches in a very long, tiny window. It's like, mm. it's about yay wide and about yay long. Uh, <laughs> and it's, um, it, it, it's a shmup. You gotta, you gotta stop people from getting to the bottom of the screen. You gotta so it's got a number like of the ways classical to do it. smuck elongated. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 is, it is long, long window, though. Uh, but yeah, getting it up and running is really simple because love is a scripting framework. So yeah, you just you run love in the directory of the source and away you go. Um, it, 
definitely looks like a like a hobby gaming project. There's like a story or something, I guess. I don't know. I played like There's the first three dialogue. boards. <laughs> there, 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 there is dialogue. The hell if I read it though. I'm, I'm sorry, developer of additive, <laughs> David Leonard Wenzel. I, I, I just couldn't care. The, well, do you know what? I'm going to be 100 percent man. Um, you don't really look for dialogue heavy shmups, do you? I, I guess, no. I guess if you're playing Toho, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, people don't play. Mm those games for the dialogue i think could we get i want you for the some plot of the... 16 by 9 <laughs> have you seen yeah. some of the playthroughs on youtube <laughs> nope 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 and i don't even know what world of might and magic is i've heard it though it, well, it's called uh, not building on your box is what it's called okay. yeah apparently that's what it means uh it is a, an open source re-implementation of might and, of the might and magic 6 7 and 8 and uh engine which they all, uh, all three of them use the exact same engine. And uh, GP Alex is attempting to uh, create an open source re-implementation of it. For what reason, only he knows. Um, he does say that the Might and Magic uh, 6 that's through a classic 8... classic CNET GUI. When you bring a GUI into it, you've, you just yes. don't do it. Well, so, so, so like, no, notice how all these screenshots are Visual Studio, too. This, this is your first hint. This is your first okay. hint that something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, and, you uh, know, one, he one of my... Says, oh, go ahead. Might and Magic 6 through 8 engine remake using original data and code. It's like, okay, the data I get, you still need to get the original data from the game. As usual, open source re-implementations. Does the code bit mean that people have to fire up their own IDE, like in the case of the screenshots, uh, Visual Studio, or, um, and build it themselves even on the other operating system? No, uh, that... I mean, so it, it could just refer to like some of the game scripts because that's code technically. It could also just mean nothing, right? Like, oh, you just need a copy of the original game, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's all. Could that's be. all it's really saying. He just worded it weirdly because he wanted to be fancy or something. I don't know. What I do know though is that when you're making a uh, an SDL project, you should probably use consistent casing because you have to move <laughs> CMake third party modules capital S lowercase d lowercase l two dot CMake to one Listen, that's all man, caps. He was just cause... Linux proofing his code base. It's it, it, it's true. <laughs> it's it's true because you know when when you once you actually sort that and you run CMake <sighs> and it runs cleanly and then you run make, it's like I can't find Windows dot H and I'm like, oh buddy, you're not gonna find it here. <laughs> No, yeah, sir. I'm not insulting Minge W64. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, I technically already have it installed, but the point still stands. It's principle like, at it's, this point, right? Like, so there's, there's there's no Linux support currently. It's open source though, so maybe someone would be interested in adding Linux support because it is all SDL2 based. There you so go. So it man. it would not be particularly mm -hmm. difficult. But in its current state, no Linux for you. Come back next year. Yeah, man. One thing we like to do is, you know, give everybody kind of grade another outlet, uh, be it, you know, a game site or, you know, just a tech blog or anything like this. This particular one is PC Gamer and what they've done. You know, we covered a, what's uh, the new egg thing? You know, they were doing a couple things every week of like, this yeah. is how game, you get into Linux. Game Haven, Game this Index is how or you something. Do the gaming. This is how you do the Linux. And we like, you know, maybe not. We don't like to throw them shade. We like to throw them a grade. So. We're going to take a look at this. And it, they say, man, it's surprisingly easy to switch to a gaming PC. Wait, it, it's easy to switch to, to a gaming PC. To switch a gaming PC to Linux, yes. To switch it. I guess that works. I don't like the way that's worded. Also, I don't like the Windows <laughs> logo. So, bad. Pedro, how did they do? <laughs> Honestly, it was all good because it was, it's mostly an article about how um, the author, Corbin Davenport. Oh, PC Gamer, go fuck yourself. Yes, a lot of playing they have videos. that stupid pop-up video. Um, and pop video. they say, it's like, okay, you have uh, System76 and you have Dell. And he is telling uh, his own story about how he bought an XPS 13 and he put Linux on it. And all of a sudden, he started to realize, wait a second, this, this isn't so hard. It's like, yes, I'm still playing games on a laptop, which, yeah, it only has the Intel... Um, uh, integrated Could GPU, uh, but maybe I can just play possibly games. Possibly picked another game than Witcher Three, buddy. 
actually, uh, he also makes a very good point about that, because it's like, okay, th there were some games that uh, were promised uh, Linux support at some point, but didn't actually land, and he uh, singles out The Witcher 3 for that, and then he says, but Proton is a thing. As it turns out, if you enable Proton, games like The Witcher 3, GTA 5, um, what's the other one he brought up? Skyrim, No Man's Sky, um, all of those work out of the box. And they do. And again, this was all very good. And he says there are some rough spots. Uh, it, he specifically calls out that some desktop environments can only do, like, uh, integer scaling. 100%, 200%, 300%, gnome looking at you. Um, and he ends the article by saying, you can take Linux for a spin. And he says, if you don't like Pop! OS, which is what every other um, outlet out there is basically recommending, that or Manjaro, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't like Pop! OS, uh, you can try Linux Mint. It's like, oh, god damn it, you were doing so well. <laughs> oh, god, well help damn. me out. Why do you have such a hate boner for me? It's uh, so, uh, not very good. Compared to what? <laughs> Like honestly, I would, <laughs> I, I would I would probably recommend poo poos over over mint these days. Mint's yeah. heyday was like mint's heyday was back in like two thousand like fifteen two thousand fourteen ish. I think they've sort of fallen off the rails. There are other distributions that are doing a better job of what it was yeah, like. Arch. Well, I, I would I would say something like Manjaro, Manjaro or something. Yeah. <laughs> Arch. So Ar Ar Arch minus all the headache. Um, but yeah, uh, and I and I mean like. It, Ubuntu makes some questionable decisions, and sometimes other entities like Valve have to it be like... It makes very questionable decisions, but the fact of the matter is, it is the most popular Linux distro. Whether although some people I, want to admit it or not. <laughs> although, I, and I mean, the, the, the guy is good enough to bring up that, like, hey, you know, driver, drivers are a thing. Um, open, AMD open source driver is good. I think I think by now the Pop OS images have all of the new Mesa stuff in place, so you can use your 5700 XT, mm -hmm. uh, or make sure that you download uh, the NVIDIA spin that has the driver prepackaged, so that mm -hmm. you don't have any sorts of installation pains. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm. As 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 an educator, I don't think it's a good idea to sort of make people hold people's hands through that because i think that's a thing they need to learn how to do in order to be self-sufficient but at the same time to get started yeah 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 you gotta trickle it in right because at the end of the, the day the, just pick a distribution and install the damn thing and learn from there pretty much yeah um, but you know, that's the thing you there's will, not a magic distribution you kinda have to different strokes for different folks <laughs> well if you're in the process of installing it half half of your about three quarters of your battle is done yeah okay yeah. And you, you can learn to fuck around with Linux in a VM. That's not a problem. But I mean, if you want to take Pepsi Challenge, you know, nuke and pave. Yep. And Pedro will hold boot. up his laptop. Let's stick Don't dual boot. Is that a beastie Linux. sticker? No, no. There's no telling that. No telling All right. That. All right. The, the moral of the story is use haiku. Yep. Coming up next, we're getting derpy, boys. We're Woo. getting four times as derpy as we did the last time. D capital E. Lowercase p. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep, crash, crash. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Neon, Debian. Then we can ask the question, is it fun? This week, we're taking a look at Derp 4. Uh, it's developed by Codemasters, ported to Linux by Feral Interactive, done on the Ego Engine. You can pick it up for about 24 US. It goes on sale quite a bit, though, so you can mm -hmm. probably get it for cheaper if you are a patient boy. Uh, what is it? Dirt 4 is all about embracing fear. Man, I want to see a dirt survival horror game. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's the, about the thrill, exhilaration, and adrenaline that is absolutely vital to off-road racing. It's about loving the feeling of pushing flat out to a next sheer cliff drop, going for the gap that's too small and seeing how much air you can get. Be fearless. Uh, Pedro gave me a copy, and I think you all got copies via Humble at some point or another. Yep. Something like yep. that. So exactly. no mandatory disclosure. We bought it ourselves, so you get the full real opinion like Ven Stone's full real opinion on Debian. Oh, dude. Uh, no longer running Debian. Stale. I'm running the testing. The new hot. Actually, there's a lot of new stuff in there. Still debugging that. But over here on Debian testing, it's a Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM with a 2060 displayed at the UK 
4K, 4K, yes, those things, 3840 at, by 2960. At, at, at UK 4K? Is the, the drive on the right side of the road? <laughs> fine, Vulcan and all. You know, I did notice the occasional hiccup, um, you know, a little bit of a frame dip every now and then. But then again, I was, when I say frame dip, I'm talking about like from 130 to 128, something like that. Playing on YOLO at 1080p with a 2060, but I have a 2060 capeless edition, so it's only got the six gigajoules of RAM. Now, it does manage to hold in the upper 120s for the most part at 1080. Um, it made sounds. All the controllers worked. I tried it with the PS4, tried it with the X-Clone, didn't have a problem there. The music, I'm going to go ahead and take a nog on that because it's definitely a mixture between emo and like early 2000s soft edgelord. It's the best way I can think <laughs> <laughs> to describe it, I was like, "What's go- what are you I trying to elicit?" Queens of the Stone Age. Wait, wait, wait! Are you trying to elicit like, oh, from right. a game? <laughs> and it would never tell me. So, but you know, I've said it again, and I'm going to say it before, man. By the time you nerf dirt to the point where it comes playable with a controller, it's kind of boring. I mean, it just is. You know, I have a, this glass desk in front of me, so breaking out a wheel at a shifter, non-starter. It would be hilarious, but. A non-starter, nonetheless. So I'll keep this short and simple. If you don't at least have some type, it doesn't matter how cheap of a wheel, just a wheel, you're not going to find much in the way of fun with dirt. I do not believe my personal opinion. I'm not much one for, you know, just the rally racing, but I did attempt to mine just that little bit of joy from what you're seeing on the screen right now. It's the dirt buggy segment. I'm like, hey, man, I could probably have some fun with that. Nope. Now, I was for a minute, but like right up there until the last corner of the last lap, like, yeah, you know, about now the AI should pop up and it just did slammed in me and like, like right at this point, just crossed the line, motherfucker. That's what I quit. It wasn't a rage quit though. It really wasn't, man. You know, I like arcade racing games because I don't often get to drive rocket powered future mobiles that excrete death laced projectiles often. However... This sliding around on gravel road or dirt track, or not maybe not a track, but definitely a dirt road, and a turbo four-door is something I can basically do any day of the week. So I want to say, well done, game. You know, this looks the business. It's the pretty. Feral, you did a good job. It has the Vulcans. It is performant. And unfortunately, it's just not my cup of chainsaw, baby. I tried to have fun with this, and I couldn't. Also, Codemasters. Motherfuckers, if you're going to make something online, uh, like requirement to like do your scores, and shit, keep your service up more than a week at a time or a day or an hour at a time, because that was a legitimate issue. Or lower that timeout, please. <laughs> yeah, on uh, on Fedora 3064 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches with the Feral Screaming Note. It's very pretty looking, like most derp games i ran into a bit of a problem though because i don't like having vsync on because you know it's not particularly performant and having your screen uh your refresh rate capped is not fun for me in my 1080 ti so i tried to turn it off and then the game crashed and then the game wouldn't launch so i had to delete the config file and i thought to myself hmm maybe this was a one-time thing let me try one more time two more times four more times no so yeah, I got I got I got sixty at UHD and ten eighty. Sixty. Yeah, sure. Um, so there's that. Controllers worked out of the box. I used the DualShock 4. I went around the track. It was fun fun. Is it fun? No. No, not no. Wait, so we had we had a wonderful talk last week about genre preferences and games and how some people like some games and other people don't. Uh for me, rally racing and I don't mix too well. It's all well and fun to slide around and wrap around trees but like only for about 20 minutes i did the driving lessons but based on that i need to study more and probably stay the fuck off the road or off the road i don't, I don't know i need to just go back to my turn-based crack that that's that's what i'm happy about one chair <laughs> yeah over here in uh, kde neon land with the ryzen 7 3700x and the gtx 1080 uh it does launch to the usual myriad fud screens that feral has grown so fond of uh, V-Sync is a bag of lies, since it doesn't actually lock uh, the frame rate to the refresh rate of the monitor. I even lowered the graphics to the medium preset, just to be sure. I unlocked the frame rate, and it was doing like 170-something, so it's like, yeah, that's fine. And then um, I turned on V-Sync, and it locked the FURPS to 63. 60 fucking 3. 
the fuck did you get that number? In any case, I turned that off very quickly, uh, and everything looked a little bit too bright for me. Uh, maybe it's because of my TN panel. It does do 144 hertz, but it's only a TN panel. Wait, wait so, it's a TN uh, pa panel, so it's using the solar flare? No, dude, the child's do adapter. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> so, so it just explodes? <laughs> yep. Chuck a hole! Uh, in any case, uh, but it's... Uh, it's I had to lower the uh, the gamma down to like 0.80. That's what you're looking at right now. It's that's uh, gamma at 0.80. It's still a little bit too bright for me, but whatever. Uh, the Linux implementation of the multi-sample anti-aliasing is also not the best. Uh, Ven actually uh, brought this to my attention yesterday uh, after Meet the Freemans, which was like, yeah, if you play Proton, everything looks much better. It's like, huh, let me try that. Oh, shit, you're not kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah no, that and shit got smooth, didn't it? It did, and the performance impact on Linux, if you turn on MSAA past uh, 2x, again, that's what you're looking at right now, um, past that, the performance tanks on Linux... On Proton, it just keeps running very, very smoothly. So, that needs work. For the fun, well, I, I like racing games. I like racing games a lot. Um, uh, if I had played Dirt 4 before I played Dirt Rally, um, I might have enjoyed it more. As it is, the driving feels very stilted. Um, even reducing, like, the hand-holding uh, in the driving doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference right up until you put it in no assists whatsoever mode, at which point it becomes completely impossible to play without an actual steering wheel plugged into your PC. Uh, in Dirt Rally, even if you were playing on the uh, Babby keyboard mode, the driving still felt pretty good, and it was pretty challenging, and you had to, instead of just holding down the button, you had to tap it at points. That, that, that was a very good way to do it. And the driving felt responsive. In this one, it feels like you have two uh, air cushions to the side of your car holding it in place. It's like, eh, let go. But the thing that really annoyed me about Dirt 4, and it's the same thing that annoyed me in Dirt 3 and Dirt Showdown... It was a stupid voiceover. Seriously, are you required by contract in the non-Rally Dirt games to have an annoying voiceover? Because that, 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 it doesn't sound good, it's stupid, and most of the time it's completely unnecessary. So, keep the co-pilot in the Rally tracks, that's fine. In the uh, Dirt buggies, like you're watching right now, completely fucking unnecessary. Just get the Fuck rid of it, or at least give me an option to turn it off. How's that? Two chairs. Good job, Pedro. You're doing great. Well, there you go. <laughs> you got to make a left turn you and lost, get the hell out of here. You uh, lost half a second in that lap. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> well, you know, in all I, I, fairness, one thing I'll say, if you just played on like, the default difficulty level, like the first the first uh, circuit of, uh, you, you can just smash into walls and trees, and like, yeah, you crushed everyone. <laughs> Quit lying to me, game. <laughs> well, I mean, you physically crushed everyone with your car, right? Pretty like, much. That's, it's, it's, yeah. it's, like that, it's like that racing game we threw chairs at where you have to murder all the people. <laughs> See, if they had that in this game, I think it'd be a little more fun, right? <gasps> right. <laughs> all right. With those Come. graphics? Oh, yes. <laughs> all right. So there you go. Coming up next, we talk about some Black Mesa co-op and why it catches fire so much. It's late. Or it's early. I don't know your life. You do what you want. But Wait, what do you call like late like... and early brunch, like afternoon? When when is brunch? Yeah, I think it's between breakfast and lunch. When is breakfast? Um, yes. But hey, when it, when if you'd like lunch? to tell us when your breakfast is, you can do so by going to LinuxGameCast.com. You hit the contact button, you fill out the form, make sure uh, LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to, and it will be featured right here, right now. Feel free to send disparaging remarks about our mothers, if that is what you please, but... If not, well, maybe you can do like the developer of the Black Mesa co-op. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Why, why would the developer of the Black Mesa co-op be contacting us? That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't track. It may have something to do with the video that we did last week. 
that was uh, yourself, myself, uh, Foxy, and uh, Kyle Lennox. Okay. Uh, the four of us were playing around with the uh, co-op mod for Black Mesa, and apparently it was janky, just janky enough for the developer to go, you're on the Steam page now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. So that, that happened. Uh, Digidude <laughs> wrote in. He's like, yo. I because we m- might have had some complaints because in, in order to play this we have to use Proton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, all right, fair enough. Uh, he's like, I don't know why the coop maps don't show in Linux. Maybe putting everything in lowercase will fix the problem? Question mark. Period. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Hardcore. Both of them. <laughs> um, I will see what I can do for the next update. So, cool beans. <laughs> I, I mean, got, I mean, we got to give props to the got, for the fact that like the dude's willing to give something a try, other and not be like, "Well, you guys are playing on Linux, so that's your problem." Ugh. Well, that that's what the <laughs> hi Gary, uh, how are you? <laughs> especially when it comes to mods, though. That was like, I think yeah. it was the first thing I said. Like, what what's the problem? Can't load the map? Yeah, probably the wrong case. Then, mm, it needs some work too. Um, hopefully, we've been of help identifying some of the bugs. What do you think the bugs are? Do you think it's just that's in the game, or do you think we've amplified things using Proton? Uh, I think most of that is the mod itself because we've seen what Proton can do, mm-hmm. and for the most part, Proton is just as performant as it is on Windows, maybe like ten percent less. Well, it's not the performance but, so much. I'm kind of feeling like no, it isn't. It's whammy. the network it, code. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the 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 implementation and like the mapping of the Windows syscalls on the Linux syscalls. Sometimes there's some massaging that needs to occur with the data. <laughs> the just but got, like, yeah, the most of the jank- fuckery. Yeah, most of the jank seems to come from either the network implementation or how the mod was made, because the physics aren't there. It, 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 like, the things that you need to grab, like the um, little turny bits for the valves or the the pumps. But it was kind of fun getting near a valve or the turny pump thing and watching it fly across the room out the door. Yep. <laughs> That's one way it, to do it, it. It, it. It's planet needed it, right? It needed to go. <laughs> My people need me. That, that kind of happened. But that was after the elevators killed us, though. <laughs> yeah, the elevators uh, killing... Although that's not the first Source game that I've seen that does that. You because might expect, there are a bunch you know, of them. <laughs> being, being like a normal Source game, the ladders would kill you. But hey, this one has surprises <laughs> in store for you. Because, like, each different layer has different physics applied to it, and if you're standing too close to the wall, you might clip into one that's, like, just, like, one or two pixels off, and it goes... Possibly, or the elevator just might straight up murder your ass for no reason. (laughs) I've seen this M. Night Shyamalan movie, though. You just gotta find out which old lady in the elevator is actually the devil and kill her, and then you can use the elevator. I remember laughing in the theater when that trailer rolled and we're like, what real? That's real. And, yeah. Um, like someone farted in the <laughs> elevator and we got to find out who it's like directed by M night. And everyone just started laughing. <laughs> that was at the um, tip, but Hey man, thank you for taking a look at that. Keep up the work. Um, it, there, there's a lot fewer to play than I think we were kind of expecting, but that's our own fault. And you know, some of the it's, transitions, it's a pretty recent mod too. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's been out for, you know, well into like halfway through 2019. So it's been out for a minute, but for the maps, uh, we're looking forward to mm-hmm. it. And we showed off in our recent video that you kind of have to hack your way through a couple of areas at this point. So, yeah, it, it yeah. seems like those last few levels that we got into, uh, Blast Pit is the chapter we're for talking lack about. Of a better explanation just <laughs> didn't fucking work. But, yeah. <laughs> Then, then we ended up on Zen, then shit got real, and I don't know. <laughs> At one point, Ven actually saw the uh, final cutscene starting. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, we're not supposed to be here. This was after we ended up like in the middle of a particle accelerator. <laughs> yeah. I mean, isn't that just the start of the game? I don't know, man. I was afraid to ask questions at that part, but we made it out. And speaking of getting out of here, we get up. Dying of fire, beautiful people, because on that bombshell, that's the beautiful music. You can always find us around 
8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time, where this nightmare train pulls off the track. We invite you to join us. Watch us after the fact. We even have a YouTube channel. But most importantly, we got those MP3s. Nom, nom, nom. They're brilliant. If you want to get a hold of me, you know where. Just at Vin Stone on Twitter or um, at Vin at mast.linuxgamecast.com where I'm doing that thing called social media-ing. I'm Jordan Spung. I'm on Twitter, launching my tweets and accelerating them to close to the speed of light so that they can collide with other tweets and annihilate themselves. It's almost as if I'm not there at all. You can follow that on The Burning Fool, or at The Burning Fool, or on Mastodon at mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm at Fridja. Drink, and drink, if you'd like drink, to, uh, drink. <laughs> no. Uh, if you'd like Lucky to continue um, fueling my ego for some reason you on ego? Twi uh, Twitter, yes. Twitch? I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know. Just uh, roll with it. But, Twitch yeah, tube. Uh, at unaccounted four. That's, That's why we have uh, hot and unaccounted cold running room. F-O-U-R, because someone already had the number four. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man! I thought for a minute they were gonna let you, us you, 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 it. Hold, hold on, you, you, you could, you could do like F O U R apostrophe R E. I could, but I could also roll the credits oh. to thank the beautiful people that make this possible. <laughs> I don't think you could have apostrophes in uh, Twitter. Not with that attitude. Nope. <laughs> Not the actual username, anyway. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Oh my God, Star Wars. Let's not talk about Star Wars. We got to talk about the Patreons, though. We got to talk, talk about our about advisors. The un unaccounted force. Haplo! Yeah, they, yes. Oh, Haplo. Uh, we got our executive producers that also has Haplo in it, like our Theron, Mr. Foxdog, Empty, the Atomic Ass, Mickle G, Bob Ramp, Saldias, Mac Geek, Scott, Frostclaw, Tremor. Haplo's gone! Yay! Um, we gotta thank our, our producers, uh, David S., Max G., Michael, Egal, Jolly, Topical, Gaia, Spatu, Max, Yabo, Stonyfish, Chris, Yuche, Mr. Alert, Michael, N., Brad S., Massimony, Dan W., Dubbin, Nuke, W., Matt C., Mike W., Christopher breathe, C., Fresno, Alvius, <gasps> Colsta, Dirty D., Nova King, Crazen, the Targos, Crazen, Jack, Todd, Whitaker, Blay, 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 Blay. Okay, I give up. We got Nova King. We need Nova Hoven, King. Schlafen. Christian <laughs> and Corey. Lutris, <laughs> Kim, Good train to read. Belric, you've had too much to drink. Brock, Ed Christian, Moon. Corey. I don't even need <laughs> Thank you. Words. Y y every <laughs> single one of you. Mm. Also thank our fuck buddies on the fuck wall, <laughs> like John and Mike G again, and our Darren and Basil, Basil and Carl. And Lennox, you are awesome. Mm. No, I, do, I mean that. Like, I won't tell anyone. But Arthur you are. And you'll, you'll, you'll deny it in public. <laughs> Have some more credits because I hit the wrong button. Dynamo. More credits! <laughs> Double complete credits. Five dudes.